This is Swastika here from Swati Coaching Point. Today we are going to discuss the class 8th chapter number 1 that is crop production and management. I have already created the three parts of this video. If you need message me in the chat box. Okay my dear guys let's start our today's video. In last session we have discussed about the sowing. What is sowing? Putting the seeds into the soil is known as sowing and the traditional tool for sowing we have already discussed these two points in last class. So today we are going to discuss about the seed drill. What is seed drill? So nowadays seed drill is used in many by many persons. It is just in trend. It is used with the help of a tractor. So let us read this paragraph. As you can see this picture of this seed drill. Okay. Nowadays the seed drill figure 1.2 B is used for sowing with the help of tractors. This sows the seeds uniformly at equal distance and depth. It ensures that seeds get covered by soil after sowing. This protects seeds from being eaten by birds. Some sowing of uh, using a seed drill saves time and labor. So the question which rises up is that which mode of sowing helps in the prevention of time and labor. So your answer will be seed drill. Okay, so your answer will be seed drill. Okay, there is a nursery near my school. I found that little plants were kept in bags. Why are they kept like this? So, there is a nursery near the school and he wants to know that why they are kept there. So, the answer is seeds of a few plants such as paddy are First grown in a nursery, when they grow into seedlings, they are transplanted into the field manually. Some forest plants and flowering plants are also grown in the nursery. So, by growing those small, small plants, it converts by putting them into the field and it grows up and creates a new plant. Okay, appropriate distance between the seeds is necessary to avoid overcrowding of plants. This allows plants to get sufficient sunlight, nutrients and water from the soil. At times, a few plants may be removed to prevent overcrowding. So, overcrowding means growing of a lot of plants at a small place. So, it is known as overcrowding. Adding manure and fertilizers. So what is manure and fertilizers? Manure is an organic substance which will create the substance and helps in the better growth of a plant. The substance which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manure and fertilizers. As we have discussed this point already, I saw a healthy crop growing in a farm. In the neighboring farm, the plants were weak. Why do some plants grow better than others? So the answer of this question is in this paragraph. Soil supplies mineral nutrients to the crop plants. These nutrients are essential for the growth of plants in certain areas. Farmers grow crop after crop in the same field. The field is never left uncultivated or fallow. Imagine that what happens to the nutrients. Continuous cultivation of crops makes the soil poor in nutrients. Therefore, farmers have to add manure in the fields to replenish the soil with nutrients. This process is called manuring. Improper or insufficient manuring results in weak plants. So, this is a question that why some plants are weak than others so the answer is by not getting proper manure and fertilizers some plants are getting proper manure and fertilizers and some don't and those that don't get proper manure and fertilizers results in the weak plants okay 
Manure is an inorganic substance obtained from the decomposition of plants or animal waste. Farmers dump plant and animal waste in pits at open places and allow it to decompose. The decomposition is caused by some microorganisms. The decomposed matter is used as organic matter. Manure, you have already learnt about vermicomposting in class 6. So, this manure is an inorganic substance which we get from dead plants and animals. When the dead plants and animals uh, leafed into the soil, they very they decompose and it results in the manure. Okay, and then we have already discussed about vermicomposting in class 6. So, what do you mean by vermicomposting? In the vermicomposting, the decomposition is done by red worms and it helps to create the extra vermicular cakes. Okay, now next page. This is an activity which you are going to perform at your home. That is activity 1.2. So perform this activity and tell me the conclusion in this comment box. Did plants in all the classes grow at the same pace? You have to answer all these questions in the comment box. Which class showed better growth of plants? In which class was the growth fastest? So in this is a type of activity in which you are having three classes with you and you have to put uh, the some seeds in it and uh, uh, the manure and fertilizers will be different different and you have to check that which will grow faster A, B and C there will be three glasses so you have to tell me the conclusion in this chat box in the comment box okay fertilizers are chemical which are rich in a particular nutrient so fertilizers are chemical which are rich in a particular nutrient how are they different from manure fertilizers are produced in factories some example of fertilizers are urea ammonium sulfate sulfur Superphosphate potash and PK nitrogen phosphorus potassium. So, this is the most important part of this chapter. So, you have to learn the name of the fertilizers which are used in our daily life. They are urea, ammonium, sulfate, superphosphate, and potash and PK nitrogen phosphorus potassium. You have to learn the names of all these things. These are the fertilizers which are used in our day to day life. Okay. The use of fertilizers has helped farmers to get better yield of crops such as wheat, paddy and maize. But excessive use of fertilizers has made the soil less fertile. Fertilizers have also become a source of water pollution. Therefore, in order to maintain the fertility of the soil, we have to substitute the fertilizers with organic manure or leave the field uncultivated fallow in between two crops. So, the use of fertilizers results in the pollution and it is not safe for our environment so it is not being used by many persons. Therefore, in order to maintain the fertility of the soil, we have to substitute fertilizers with organic manure or leave the field uncultivated. So, to maintain the better growth in this field, we have to leave them uncultivated and it results in the improvement in the soil's texture. Another method of replenishing the soil with nutrients is through crop rotation. So, one more method which can be used to replenish the soil is crop rotation. So, what is crop rotation? Let us read. This can be done by growing different crops alternately earlier 
farmers in northern india used to grow legumes as fodder in one re- season and wheat in the next season so in earlier times in north india you people used to grow leguminous as fodder in one season and wheat is next season so as we all have discussed in the first session that wheat is the most used popular seed which are using in our day to day life especially in india so uh, they are used to grow fodder in first season and wheat in next season this helped in the replenishment of the soil with nitrogen farmers are being encouraged to adopt this practice in the previous classes you have learnt about rhizobium bacteria uh, these are present in the modules of roots of leguminous plants they fix atmospheric nitrogen so rhizobium bacterium is a bacteria which fixes the nitrogen in the soil and leads to the better growth of the plants so we have discussed this page today now it's turn for next page difference between fertilizers and manure so these are the four differences which are given up here so let us read some these points fertilizer is a man made in organic salt manure is a natural substance obtained by the decomposition of cattle dung and plant residues fertilizer is prepared in factories manure can be prepared in the fields fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil manure provides a lot of humus to the soil fertilizers are very rich in plant nutrients like uh, nitrogen phosphorus and potassium manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrients so these are the some of the four difference between fertilizers and manure table 1.1 gives the difference between a manure and fertilizer advantages of manure so now we are going to read about the advantages of manure the organic manure is considered better than fertilizer this is because it enhances the water holding capacity of the soil so manure leads to water holding capacity of the soil it makes the soil porous due to which exchange of gases become easy it increases the number of friendly microbes it improves the texture of the soil so the thing which you have to learn is that names of urea which we have discussed in the last page these differences between manure and fertilizers and this four advantages of manure i hope you have understood in next class we are going to discuss about irrigation as one point rises in my mind that i have taken three or four classes so i need to take a test that how much you are learning from this video so in the description of the box you will get a test link you have to perform that test in case you are getting any problem in a- attempting then please do write in a comment box thank you for watching keep watching and please do like share and subscribe